standing outside Sri Harikota and trying to figure out which launch pad is it on and identifying it and looking at the launch and the delay between the you know watching the rocket and the vibrations coming to you a bit later you know it's going to happen and it's the same feeling every single time when i was a child i think seeing news reports of isro launching a uh, spacecraft uh, and seeing the uh, the joy in faces of engineers uh, when the launch happens uh that's always been something that i dreamed to be a part of um uh, and druva has made that happen uh, uh we've had quite a lot of work sleepless nights bottomless coffee uh and a lot of fun involved in you know getting to solve challenges that we thought uh might not be feasible and trying to do something uh where a whole bunch of engineers come together uh and work towards building something that can actually successfully operate in orbit and i think that's uh, that's been a big learning uh, journey uh, that we've all been on together i was there on ground for i think all the three missions that we had last year the c53 c54 and c55 c53 the experience was i mean that was the first time did i ever imagine that uh, you know i'd be a part of the whole situation where you know you would be kind of coordinating to get entries into you know shar or get all the uh things in place arrangements in place and all of that the first time was good but c54 when we did launch uh two of our thai bolts it was altogether a different a uh, situation i mean i've done it for c53 on ground being there at shah you know getting all of these things done but 54 was very different considering uh you know a lot of our a couple of our investors a couple of our uh you know consultants a couple of our advisors you know we had to get entry for all of those people because that's the first uh satellite mission for drova and also that's the first time a private space tech company in india has been authorized to put objects in space so that was huge thing for us and i i still remember we had a screening here in the office while we were doing things there on ground we came up with the concept a p dot a nice half u cube sat uh, for iot communications as a technology demonstrator to basically establish the capabilities that we have and so on and so forth in terms of realizing such a technology but that is not where we stopped because when we looked at and defined as to what needs to be done the definition went beyond tech trying to figure out how sure there is it's it's a company so there's going to be business use case and so on but beyond that as to what sort of non technical hurdles that we will need to um, figure out and actually achieve them uh, be it from the regulatory side of aspects on the space side on the ground side and these became the first driving definitions for a such a mission where it's not just the technical aspect or the business aspect but something beyond that so this this kind of a you know holistic approach if you will is something that uh, we've been looking at from day one and we understood the necessity of doing these things because these form the building blocks for everything that we go doing right now and what we're going to be doing in the coming decades as a company as an ecosystem and so on so we'll really need to crack all of these uh, fundamental blocks beyond the technical aspect of things so we set apart you know went ahead let's let's crack each one of these things looked at each of these points uh, whether uh, figuring out and getting permits for operating on the ground segment of ground segment side of things and finally towards getting the first authorization as a private company to put a space object an object in space uh was an extensive technological and uh, regulatory uh challenge that we looked at and it it, it was a it, it's a very beautiful thing to see the intersection of all of these various disciplines uh of course the nature of you know the moment you bring various disciplines together you have a lot of complexities and i think that is where we really really uh put in and showed what we can do 
and that that is a huge thing i think i think that that forms one of the largest and very distinct achievements that we have done as a team as a company here so that i think that is something that we absolutely uh, proved demonstrated you know and a whole bunch of uh, works there that we did as a team at the wasp yeah we started building thibolt i started working on a power system started working on solar panels then integrated them uh, in fact i was there for the first assembly of thibolt that we did that was one year before the launch param there we defined the parameters so it was a amazing journey in the sense that we were defining how to do it then we're doing it and then we're correcting the mistakes that we did and making the process better in that way the kind of products that we were trying to come up with the issues that we wanted to solve we didn't want to come up with something that was already existing so we wanted to understand what the issues are in the industry currently and how we can solve them by bringing in the products i see a lot of people who are developing solutions for the betterment of the world uh, focused more on disaster management environment response and monitoring and so much more which small satellites like thibolt can effectively aid and they can ease access to space um this truly lives up to uh, what we want to do as a company and i've realized that in the past 3 months especially when uh, going around the globe with so many conferences forums etc where i'm uh, meeting people who are developing these solutions and when you tell them more about thibolt and when you realize they've already been following it they've been going on uh, platforms our website and other places to understand how can such a small satellite really be there and what could be its utility and when people truly understand what low bit rate satellites can do for ease of access to space for cost for their solutions it's really interesting to see how how the, how uh, impact of space on earth truly ends up translating at least an ideation uh, so far the moment the mission patch was realized in both digital and embroidered form um was such a moment of pride i think we really understood how that patch was a testament to teamwork to space exploration to the start of something or many things that would mean that we were thinking big and dreaming big um and seeing the community seeing our team members seeing our investors wear those patches with so much pride it has been a pride point for more than 2 years and still running people still talk about how beautiful that patch is and i think um as thibolt 1 and thibolt 2 have till they completed i think more than 15000 orbits it it just takes on a whole new meaning a whole new level of excitement of what's ahead well, i still remember the time where most of the uh, team were present in office uh, present at the ground station eagerly waiting for the first packet to be decoded and displayed on the screens and when that happened uh, i can't explain it in words it was it was really uh, magical i mean so i asked okay can i can i have some crackers busting in office after thibolt launch and I, i would say no okay, we can't do that but we had that kind of enjoy in my house in my hometown so we burst crackers we burst uh, big bombs and all that day when we launched thibolt and we received second day successfully so that kind of enjoyment we did actually so it's very happy and they are very happy to be part of the mission by in and the other way yeah i was actually coming down the stairs that day and i just realized that okay this is uh, that the thibolt separated that was the purest uh, emotion that i saw it was the purest form of happiness that i saw it was it just felt in that moment that this is how it feels when the hard work all the effort that you've put in when it finally pays off how you feel and i had goosebumps all the way so everybody so happy you know the best feeling of the initial day that then i joined uh, druva it was one of the best feeling that i saw it was it was nothing short of joy and pride because it's a, it's 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 so many hours of work so many hours of hard work so many hours of diligence to ensuring you know getting the system right and when you see the system do it right and when you get these signals right uh pure joy pure pride uh, there's there's nothing more there's there's nothing more i can say about it it's it's just that and i think uh it's a splendid team it's it's 
I, I could just keep working with this team and talking about it all the time.